Hey Ken, did you know the Wave Surfer 4000 HD has great probe support? What's a Wave Surfer 4000 HD? It's a 200 megahertz to 1 gigahertz high definition oscilloscope with 12 bit performance for the price of 8 bits. Do you have current probes? Yes, we do. 30 amps? Yeah. 150 amps? Yes. 500 amps? Yep. Powered from the scope? Yeah. I don't need an external power supply? No. Do you have high sensitivity current probes? Yes, we do. Can I run four current probes at one time? Of course. Really? Yeah. Do you have high voltage diff probes? Yes, we do. Are they any good? They're very good. What's the CMRR? Uh, at 65 dB. At 60 hertz? No, no, it's 85 dB at 60 hertz. It's 65 dB at 1 megahertz. That's what everybody does. No, everyone else does 35 dB at 1 megahertz. Oh. What's the gain accuracy? 1%. That's what everybody does. No, everyone else does 2%. Oh. Do you have a 1 kV common mode? Yes, we do. How about a 2 kV common mode? Yes, we do. What's the differential swing of those? It's 2 kV. Well, wow. how about for 5 kV apparatus? Oh, uh, we, have, we have that as well. What's the common mode? Uh, it's 6 kV. Hmm. What's the differential swing of that? 7.6 kV. And the CMRR and the gain accuracy, is it worse than the other probes? No, no, it stays the same as the 1 kV probe. Oh, okay. Do you have a high voltage single-ended probe? Yes, we do. Up to what voltage? 6 kV. Hmm. What do I do for gate drive probing? Uh, we have a fiber optic probe. What's the common mode voltage? Oh, it's virtually unlimited. What's virtually unlimited mean? Okay, we have a rating of 35 kV. Okay. What's the CMRR? Oh, it's well over 100 dB. And the voltage range? Uh, 2 to 80 volts. Okay. Is it powered from the scope? Oh, no, it's battery powered. Oh, do I have to replace the batteries? No, no, you just recharge it. How do I charge it? USB. Oh, how long does the battery last? Six hours. Hmm. How do I probe power rails? Oh, uh, we have a specialized rail probe. It sounds expensive. Oh, you can build your own probe. You take a coaxial cable, solder down the center conductor and the shield, and terminate it straight into the one mega ohm input of the scope. Does the scope have enough offset for that? Oh, yes, it does. It exceeds the rail voltage, even at high sensitivities. Hmm. Why would I still use the rail probe? It has higher bandwidth, higher offset, and lower loading. Okay. Can I still use a passive probe? Yes, you can. It'll be a little noisier, but we have an adapter for that. Okay. Do you have an active single-ended FET probe? Yes, we do. Does it cost a lot? No, it's very reasonably priced. What's the tip capacitance? Oh, it's less than a picofarad. Hmm. Do you have a low voltage diff probe? Yes, we do. Do you have a 200 megahertz model? Yes, we do. Is it any good? Oh, it's very good. Do you have higher bandwidths? Yeah, we go up to 1.5 gigahertz. Can they use them to measure a small voltage across a series or shunt resistor? Uh, we have a probe that has 10 times the gain, lower noise, and higher CMRR. What is the CMRR? It's 80 dB. Wow. Can I rescale the voltage to amps in the scope? Yes, it can. Wow. How many different probes does this scope support? Oh, this scope supports over 30 different probes across nine product categories. Wow, that sounds great. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. For more information, go to the Teledyne LaCroix probes page.